Hi folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. I want to take you through how to build your own evaporative cooling screen door from easy to find materials. What you're looking at here is an actual working evaporative cooling screen door. That is a full screen door into place right there. Everything that you see. Let me walk you up and show you exactly how I built this. Uh, first of all, what we have here is a huge evaporative layer, which is cotton. Uh, it comes all the way from an upper feed trough up there, which I'll show you from up on the ladder. That's why I have it here. Give you a nice view from up above. Uh, we have an overfill tube coming out the end of that. That runs all the way down the side here, comes out right here, and drops back into our bucket. Uh, this overfill tube you're looking at here comes through the bucket and into the bottom piece of PVC pipe. Now to make the catches in these pieces of PVC pipe, first of all, I had to cap the ends of them off. There's a wooden plug in there and then some silicone. Uh, this is actually what I've done here, is used a skill saw to miter in or to router in a about, let's say almost a 3 8 inch groove all the way across this piece of PVC other than at the very ends. It stops right here. Here I hold saw it in a piece for a one inch piece of uh, PVC pipe. No, it's three quarter PVC. You can't tell, it's underneath all the cloth here. In the end, it actually goes inside of that. I just wanted to see if it was gonna work. Uh, what we have here is all the water that runs down the cloth is gonna go behind this piece of flashing. The flashing is also recessed in this miter groove uh, in the PVC. So the, the water coming down the cloth has to go down inside of there. We have another piece of this flashing also on the inside of the door, which I'll show you here once we do the inside shot. Uh, so all that water comes down, gets caught, and now it's running back into our collection and, and recirculator tank. Uh, this tank provides the water for the screen door. Here we have a pump, 12 volt. It's uh, quite a bit too big for what we're actually going to need here for this in a, in a final design. Uh, this pump provides way too much water to just kind of let it run all the time. Uh, it's uh, about 4 amps, I believe, at 12 volts. Anyway, so you just, it turns uh, through this into this copper pipe runs all the way up and you see the copper pipe coming out there and then feeding into the upper trough which I'll show you like I said uh, this piece of flashing here what was going on was water was coming off of there too fast and actually leaving the sheet and coming out onto the uh, steps here so I built a piece of flashing that grabs it and shoots it back against the sheet so it's a nice even flow all the way down the sheet which I'll show you here in a minute uh, so anyways you see some wires here these wires, first of all, they go down to the electric pump that's inside of our feed tank here in our recollector tank. And then they go up inside of the door, which I have a little electric switch inside of there so I can actuate this, turn it off and on from inside. All right, so what you see here is basically a very easy system to build, uh, something that you can put together that'll allow for evaporative cooling effects to take place. Any time water is evaporated off of a surface, uh, the other side of that surface experiences a drop in temperature due to the evaporation. Uh, so inside the house right now, what we're experiencing, instead of being 92 degrees like it is outside, we're about 77 degrees right now on the thermostat in there, uh, all due to this one screen door. Uh, this is this one little system is so well built and easy to install and uses so little power that This alone now if you had this on everyone say if I had installed this also on that large window And then all the way around the entire place here You're talking about a massive cooling effect now you find a way to power this with a small solar panel So this whole system uh, turns on whenever the Sun's out you could even have the solar panel up on top of the roof line up above up there uh, Real quickly here. Let me show you the upper trough so you can see that and this actually feeds the water down our sheet. Okay, so you can feed, see the feed tube coming in. I just have a hole drilled in the PVC pipe. Now you might be able to see that we have a, a, a groove cut into this piece of PVC and that cloth is rolling over and then tucked down into this piece of uh, pipe we've got here. And there's a lot of cloth in there so the wick system works very, very well. A lot of cloth grabs a lot of moisture and it wicks it out. Uh, so we actually fill this reservoir tank. At the end of it, you see the overflow. So the water can flow for quite a while before actually becoming uh, an issue and over flooding this. Uh, the overflow does a pretty good job since our in and our out are the same size. Uh, we do get a little overspill and that's why this is here, but that actually helps uh, saturate the sheet a lot faster. It actually worked pretty well. Uh, so you can tell it's just easy to build. I've got a wooden cork in there uh, with a nut as a plug here. Or a bolt, I'm sorry. Uh, then I put the sheet rolling around the back side, obviously, here instead of around the front side. Helps make a better seal here at the top of the door itself. Uh, let me get back down here and just show you real quick here. All of this is built directly on the door, so you can actually open this all up 
all at once. And I have another, obviously, larger area here to install even more water reservoirs if I wanted, uh, if I needed this thing to run for a long period of time without having to come out here and fill this up. You could also have this all set up from a, a home line if you were on grid or any of that. This is just a simple way when you're off grid to provide a nice evaporative cooling effect to your home. So let me go ahead and set this up and we'll turn the thing on. Alright folks, so I've turned on the pump now. We're going to watch this water start to flow down the face of this sheet here. I've got a lot of wind today so I'm going to try to do this quick so you don't get a lot of wind interference here in the camera shot. Once the upper reservoir fully fills, uh, you'll actually start, there we go, see the water starting to run down the face here? That'll start evening itself out once it fully starts saturating the sheet. Uh, that now is running all the way down inside of our flashing piece here, which on the inside and the outside is catching all that and making sure that it ends up in a reservoir. And you can see our return line out of the reservoir now is actually uh, active and putting down a nice little stream. You don't need a lot of water flow to get this thing really saturated, but uh, so there you go folks, that's an easy way to put this together. Alright, so one of the easy things you could do with this is put a fan on the inside of your house, uh, just on the inside of this screen door, which I may end up doing, uh, which will make a much more effective cooling system. That's a very large eva evaporative surface right there, uh, producing a lot of cool air on the inside. Uh, this is working no different than your standard swamp cooler, other than ha not having the fan involved. Uh, this is very low voltage. The actual uh, amount of wattage we're using in this is very minimal. This pump only needs to run for a brief moment and, you know, we could really minimize the size of this pump. It could be something that uh, barely moves in a fish tank. This could be very, very low voltage, low wattage usage here because the water could actually be, if the pump was small enough, it could constantly be left on so a sheet of water is rolling down this, which would be uh, even more effective than what we have now. But just the incorporation of this low-tech system right here is decreasing the temperature inside the house from a balmy 94 degrees down to a nice 70-something, 70 78, 79 degrees, which is much more tolerable. And the longer this stays on today, the cooler it's going to get the house. So let me go ahead inside and show you the rest from the inside. All right, folks, so here we are looking at this evaporative screen door from the inside. Uh, I want to walk you up real quick here and just show you some of the things we've got going on. You can tell I've removed all the screen. I'm actually touching right against the cloth itself here. Uh, what we have down at the bottom is I have another piece of this expanded metal that I'm going to put up higher. This actually uh, does a really good job grabbing that cool temperature off of that uh, cloth and radiates that inside. You know, aluminum's obviously a really good heat sink material. Down here at the bottom, you can see this piece of flashing. I showed you the one on the outside already, so this is the interior flashing. So the sheet's actually dropping down between two flashing pieces that are both recessed. I don't know how well you can see that in there, but both recessed inside of that piece of PVC pipe. So basically sandwiching that cloth together, allowing to make sure no water spilling anywhere. You know, it's nice and clean and dry in here. You can tell the particle board down here has zero moisture on it. So we're doing a really good job confining that moisture just to this area here. Uh, real quick, here's my switch. Let's turn it on. So watch this go ahead and start pouring some water in. Take a second to fill up that upper reservoir tube. There it goes. Start seeing some of that water coming through. And right now it's a little difficult to see it, but it's actually running all the way across the sheet right here. So we've got a great flow right now running down our sheet. You can hear the water down below running into our reservoir catch tank. So there you go. There's how to build an evaporative screen door for your house out of cheap materials that'll actually reduce the temperature really dramatically with almost no energy uh, of the house that you stay in or a, a trailer or anything that you've got. Uh, this is just something you could build at home for nothing. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Mr. Teslonian and the Teslonian Man Show.